we had to upgrade the storage in our Dell R510 server earlier this year, I decided to go with Kingston DC500 SSDs. They've got a killer warranty, and the specs make it clear that they're going to breathe new life into this old machine. I ran some FIO tests, and the performance increase that those bring over the old spinning drives is insane. I mean, the random read IOPS alone, 180 times faster. So it was time to install them, and I bought eight 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch adapters that'll match up nicely with the server's backplane since the Dell trays only support 3.5 inch drives. Firing up the server with the SSDs and all appears to work great, but all the drives are flashing an amber light. I asked Mark from Kingston if this was a concern. Well, uh, with Dell, where did you get the drive sled? Wait a minute. So you're telling me these fancy expensive drive adapters are what's causing this? It's the drive sled. The drive set has a chipset on it. All right, let's try a different approach then. Commander Muffiff posted thing 1830990 to Thingiverse, which looks promising. I've got the link in the description below. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Success! The Kingston DC500s connected directly to the backplane using 3D printed adapters did the trick. This is another testament to the cost savings of owning a 3D printer. Now, I paid $16 each for these adapters. The ones I printed myself, these worked better. And now, while I used expensive PLA Plus filament, which costs $40 per kilogram, each tray adapter, which is 14 grams, uh, price, that prices it at only 56 cents each. So the material cost being 56 cents, I saved $15.44 per tray adapter. That's a grand total of $123.52 saved to print eight adapters myself. If I did that just two more times, I've already offset the upfront expense of buying my 3D printer in savings alone. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube, give this video a like, and click that bell to be notified when we release new videos. Check us out on Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes and early access to our videos, and I'll catch you next time.